We always have a saying around here, ice is for your soft drinks, not for pitchers. The reason we don't ice after we throw is that the research has become really clear that ice actually slows down the recovery process, okay? It comes down to understanding why are you sore. After you throw at any high intensity, you are usually sore the next day, and the question is why? Are you sore due to the onset of lactic acid, which is commonly thought? Well, we've known since 2004 that pitchers who, who perform seven inning simulated games develop no lactic acid buildup after a heavy outing. So it's not due to lactic acid. It's not due to inflammation. The signs and symptoms of inflammation are red, hot, swollen, and tender. <clears throat> when you come out of the game, you're not red, hot, swollen, and tender. The reason you're sore after the game is microscopic trauma to the tendons, ligaments, and muscles. Not injury, but microscopic trauma. And the way the body heals it is floating through the platelets of the blood are these specialized cells called undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. They're like generic cells that don't have any job until they sense tissue damage. Then they have the miraculous ability to morph into the cell they're trying to replace and become that cell. So the first thing we have to do is deliver them to the theater and they are in the platelets of the blood. Ice inhibits blood flow. Vasoconstriction, it reduces blood flow to the tissue. We need blood so we don't ice. It's like we have death and carnage on the battlefield. We have the reserves ready to come in and save the day, but we're gonna just wait 20 minutes while we ice. It doesn't make any sense. It actually slows down the healing process. So keep the ice for your soft drinks and understand that we need blood flow to help improve recovery.